friends, Dapper Drabby here, and we have another Sil Valley pack for you today. And yeah, I don't know what number it is. The number rubbed off. I believe it is number 16 today, and we're going to see if we can get another sweet pull. It's been a few days. We've been getting, we've been getting hollows pretty regularly, but uh, those ultra rares, they've been elusive. Those, um, those secret rares, they've been... Uh, I think they've been as much as you can get in these boxes, but still, they have been uh, not in a while. So let's see if we can get something good. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting to call the energy, but we are going to start off with a little bit of a splashing. Hey, stop that. Spoink, a mischievous confusing you. Pikachu with the weird eyes. Chimecho's Bell of Silence. Submerging Magikarp with the Magikarp sub. A Gastrodon's Eerie Fluid with that Earthquake Peaking Red card. A Sensino. Hey, can I please have two cards? I really want these two cards. Let me see. Which which two cards do I want? I want the Peaking Red card back, and I want the Devoured Field back. Can I have those, please? Thank you. Thank you so much. A Mud Shotting, Bunnelby Reverse, and our rare is Kamo'o with that War Cry. Now, speaking of uh, War Cry, I thought this deck, this card could play very well with Altaria, but it's kind of like doing the same thing. You evolve Altaria, then flip a coin to see if you evolve. Or you evolve Jengmo, Hakamo, and then Kamo'o. But Warcry is a pretty cool attack. If you have fewer Pokemon in play than your opponent, this attack does 90 more damage. So 120 for a DCE. Um, and it has a decent amount of HP. So it's kind of a cool... And the reason why I kind of like the idea of uh, Altaria with it instead of Hakamo is uh, because... You, you're not susceptible to the de-evolution plays. But thank you guys so much for coming out today. This has been Dapper Drabby. I'll bid you guys Alola, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.